it's a deep, um, quite deep color, still with a dense uh, ruby red core, but the rim is indicating uh, some age, it's more towards the, the tawny. It certainly has a development in a traditional style, with a, marked by a certain oxidation, with the dried fruit notes, like walnuts, leather, dry wood. Far beyond the primary fruit, some dried cherry notes. The palette is quite full. There's a, it's a warm in terms of a alcohol and, uh, and ripeness. And at this stage it's appearing more of the nutty and uh, with nutty and leathery notes. Uh, there's a hint of oxidation, but that's part of a, I would say, a traditional style. Uh, fruit characters is more on those, those dried cherry notes. And there's a slight hint of oak as well but more like old and uh, used oak. So in terms of the texture, it's rounded now with finely dissolved tannins, quite warm and, uh, and uh, long on the finish. Not the wine for um, everyone probably, as it has this mature traditional style uh, marked by oxidation, but I think it's really well balanced for that traditional style, so I kind of like it.